Hello everyone, this is Dr. Garima Sachdi Baba, one of the mentors of study in RCOG and today we will be discussing about boost of IVs. So if a patient presents with severe constipation and intolerance to oral intake due to non-mechanical causes after surgery, it is known as boost of IVs and it can occur post any abdominal surgery. Incidence of post cesarean is around 10 to 15 percent. Symptoms can be divided into upper GI and lower GI symptoms. Lower GI symptoms uh, present patient presence with absence of latus, there is distension. Upper GI distension is more patient presence with vomiting intolerance to oral feeds. You manage these patients conservatively using the IV fluid replacement, giving them anti emetics, limiting the oral intake, and if the symptoms do not resolve in the patient presence with intractable vomiting, then you can put an NG tube. Uh, you will avoid opioids as analgesics because they affect the bowel function and measure uh, RFT and electrolytes. And if there is any abnormality detected, then you correct it. If the patient doesn't improve post these conservative measures, then you have to think of more serious causes. Uh, and to rule out them, you'll order an abdominal x ray. So, this is how a post op IVS looks like, where both as you can see, both small and large bowel loops are dilated. So, you see gas throughout the abdomen, including both large and small bowel. So, this is paralytic IVS. This is a second differential diagnosis where you see the gas is only in the small bowel. The large bowel loops are not distended. So, uh, this occurs in mechanical obstruction. And there is another syndrome which is called a colonic pseudo obstructions also called as Ogilvy's syndrome. So in this basically what you the characteristic feature is the cecum is uh, significantly dilated and the man, uh, management of Ogilvy's syndrome it depends on the, uh, the how much distension is there of the cecum. If it is less than 10 to 12 centimeters then you manage these patients conservatively. However if the patient presents with the uh, Excessive distension, peritonitis, cecum is more than 12 cm, lactate is more, and there are multiple uh, air fluid levels, then you will uh, take the patient up for lip work. So, this was all about this, and um, thank you so much.